Hey, what's up guys? Doublekster again. Welcome back to Call to Arms. Uh, we are doing another take on the first person shooter video. Uh, we're doing it kind of third person again. Uh, and with vehicles, tanks and stuff, uh, there was a single player mission that inspired me to do this. It was actually like the first one we played uh, when we were riding in the Humvee and we had the grenade launcher and it was really cool. And I was super excited about that because it's just it just really worked out well. It was really nice to be in a vehicle, uh, controlling it, driving it and shooting its weaponry. So we're going to try and do that, but with some <laughs> heavier weaponry this time around. We have ourselves a Bradley that we are actually intending to follow throughout this map. I'm not going to show you what's coming for us because we'll, we'll we'll see that as we ride and we're going to be controlling the tusk um <clears throat> so i i just made this mission myself now um took me roughly 15 minutes to do it if you guys want to see more of this let me know the first person shooter video was unfortunately not as successful as i think this will be uh the first person shooter kind of you know it was a fun idea it was kind of like a rail shooter but it made me a little dizzy and the camera wasn't just perfected for it but listen look at this the second i go into first uh or uh, not first person but the second i go into direct control it puts my camera right behind the vehicle Perfect, and I can also zoom in and just get a really nice third-person view. So that's what we're going to go with. I'm going to slow time down just so that I can keep up with things. We're going to go out of direct control. We're going to click start. We're going to make sure we control the right player. We're going to remove the HUD. We're going to click the tank. We're going to click E. And, oh yeah, we should probably speed things up as well. There we go. And we are now in the game. Let's follow the Bradley and see what we can do. I'm pretty excited for this. Riding around. Things are looking good. Oh man, patrolling the, the countryside here in whatever country we're in. Just following the Bradley. Things are pretty cool as far as I'm concerned. If you guys want to see more of this, let me know and I'll make more missions. Even more detailed ones. I mean, the things you can make when you script and use vehicles. Oh, looks like we've got some contacts back there, but I'm going to wait until they fire at me, you know? Could be civilians. I ain't seen them that well there in the distance. We're gonna head up to the high grounds. The infantry's dismounting. Infantry heading out. Roger, roger. And the Bradley is engaging. Ah, yes, motherfucker. Here we go. Oh. Born on him, boys. Loading HE. Okay, we got contacts on the rooftop. I think I saw something moving up back there. Yep. Firing! Secondary! Oh my god, it's fucking badass. I love it. This is just too much. So cool. Okay, we got the infantry coming with us here. More contact here in the building area. I'm not gonna take any chances. I'm just gonna. Put a hole in that building. Oh, didn't quite penetrate. Following the Bradley, we are moving through. Looks like we took out some militia troops right here, or some militiamen. An SPG there mounted on a technical. Nothing too dangerous, but we didn't want to take any chances. Do you know what I mean? Troops are securing the backside there. We're going to keep following the Bradley here and clear away. <coughs> Oh, ooh, taking fire. Vehicle, BMP, 150 meters. Actually, more like 113, but I wasn't sure what I was aiming at there. That's more like 100. Wait. Oh, feels like I'm hitting the front of something else, like a tree or a wall. Maybe we should load something else, but HE, I'm not sure. Crew injured. Didn't quite take it out. I'm not sure how we change ammunition while in indirect control. Right click brings us to the other gun. There we go. Let's go to right click one more time. Okay. Makes sense. Give it one more try here. 100 meters! Firing AP! We hit it. I'm just not sure what we did to it. Hit it again! Firing AP! Right, we're gonna come around the Bradley here. We're in a full-on fucking firefight with that thing. Is it a BMP-3? 
Well, I mean, why am I asking myself? I placed it there, but still, you know. Okay, this tusk does not seem to be giving it the right treatment. We're gonna go around. We're gonna go ahead out of the leader vehicle. Move in front of it. We don't want to lose it. It's better that we take a hit from the BMP than that they do. There we go. Turret damaged. Didn't seem to quite do the job. There we go. That's a green. That's a green spot. Firing! I mean, are we penetrating? Or... What's up? Are they gone yet? We got some infantry with us here. Checking things out. Crew injured. I just don't think it's quite enough. Alright, I got this. I got this. Hold fire, Bradley. Hold fire. Oh! There we go. Pierce the hull. Nothing's gone for. Man, it took a lot of hits. I guess we disabled it earlier than we thought, but it's... It's down. It's down. We're moving through. We're moving through. Secondary ready. It's good. That's a GPMG, like a M240, I think. We also had a Fidi Kel. The Fidi Kel. But I think the 50 fires on its own behalf, so it's pretty nice. AI's got that under control. Yeah. Some remaining crew members there jumped out. Oh, I see someone back there. Howdy! How you doing? Yeah. <laughs> the last thing we saw was his headgear. Taking the place of his upper body. Because there was nothing there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, Bradley, you take the lead. Heading after you. Yeah, this BMP3 here is knocked out. It took a while, though. It took a while. But, oh. Oh! Hey, 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 I ain't... Okay. There's a rock or something stopping us from moving through. Oh! Infantry in the compound up here. Are you coming, Bradley? You're gonna take the lead, yeah? Where the hell are you going? I have no idea what it's doing, but we'll just we'll just give it some space, and we'll just let it get back on the track here. Oh, it wants to, it wants to move back here. Oh, I think it I think it found its peace now. It's it's heading back up the hill. It went down here to check out the situation. I think it's gonna go back on track now. It's got a designated route, and I believe it's going to try and stick to it. But we'll move up ahead, and we'll just let it catch up with us. Not a big deal. We're going to assist the infantry here on the right. It looks like they're engaged in a firefight with some infantry. Um, we should just do what a neighborhood does best, or a tusk in this case. Uh, just drives right through the building. Like, surprise, surprise, motherfuckers. Yeah, we got some infantry on the other side. Oh. Is he fine? He's fine. Is he fine? Yeah. Oh. Shit. I thought he was a little further ahead of me. Oh, man. Rest in peace. Sorry about that, bro. Bro. Okay, we got the Bradley coming up. I think our infantry dealt with most of the enemy infantry around here. Oh, there's still some back here. Oh, I see one right there. Oh! I was real close. Want to make sure they don't have any explosive weaponry, such as RPGs and hand grenades that could potentially damage our tank. Or the Bradley. I don't know where it's going, but it's going somewhere. It's being kind of creative right now. Okay. He's like, this is this must be the place. This is where I want to be. Okay, I'm going to settle down here. Oh, look at the lovely... Oh, more infantry around here. Watch out, Bradley. Watch out. You got dangerous... Enemies on your six. Danger, danger. All right. Clear. Compound clear. If we hold in V, we can see some casualties around here, so... The, the enemies lost quite a few around here. Back up there. The reasons why we're not seeing any more, or any yellow for that matter, is because the one yellow that we did accidentally kill, I mean, yeah, his, his body turned into dust and stone and, and, 
the dirt. So, unfortunately, stuff like that happens. All right, we're going to get back on track. We're going to load up the main gun. I'm not sure what we're packing, but... AP, AP is what I want to see. All right, that's good. Oh, that's a T-80. Fuck. Just staring right at me. Ah, guns blazing. Did we take it out? I think we took it out. Lots of infantry down here. We're just going to mow them down. You guys good? Oh, we're going to keep on moving. Bradley's trying to catch up back there. Yeah, no, that thing, that thing, I think we smoked it on the first hit. Or, there was never anyone in it. That is a possibility. Uh, hey, okay, room for improvement. Crew the vehicle. In this case, the, the T-80. All right, all right, okay. Room for improvement. Room for improvement. I have no idea what the Bradley's doing right now. Like, it was supposed to follow a track. Like, it went back here to hump that vehicle. But I think we're pretty much done with this map. I hope you guys enjoy this kind of preview it was a test i wanted to see what we could do if this was going to be uh more or less better than um the um the first person shooter one there when we ran around and did it like a rail gunner here comes the bradley now finally catching up i thought this was pretty cool uh i want to try and do this again with more vehicles perhaps even a bigger map if we can find one or make one uh more enemies as i said i didn't spend all too much time on this because I didn't want to spend way too much and then it was a flop. I didn't think it was a flop. I thought it was pretty cool. Yes. Fine. Next time, I'll crew the T-80. I'm sorry about that. Um, I just forgot. I was I was too excited to get this mission going. Um, but as you can tell, there's quite a lot of dead enemies around here. I didn't want to crowd the map because then you wouldn't tell like a difference from going to one set to another. Um... But we can definitely create more mayhem with more vehicles, more allied vehicles, more more ground infantry, and all that kind of stuff. If you like it, let me know. I thought it was kind of cool. I'll perfect one. If you guys want to see more, I will perfect one. I will make one that is that's, that's going to be damn good. It's going to be damn good. I might even make use of the same map, or I'll try and find another one that's big and, and cool, too. Um, hey, we'll, maybe we'll play as the GRM once. That would be cool, too. Uh... I'm not sure what the Bradley's trying to do, but it's trying to get out of the map. That means this video is over. It reached the end point. We survived. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys soon again. Bye.